Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. The S6 version 2 software update adds new and improved enhancements to speed up and streamline your mixing and editing workflows. This video will go over these new enhancements. Starting with version 2.0, S6 updates will require an activation ID number in either an offline or online activation process to install the software. The activation code will be available in the user's Avid account if the console has a current Avid Advantage Expert Plus support plan. Please see the What's New in S6 version 2.0 document for detailed instructions on how to activate the software. S6 version 2.0 has many new layout improvements, from saving and loading layouts, new ways of creating layouts, and consolidating the layout and track screens. We will look at these enhancements in more detail in a separate video. Mixers that have used Avid's S5 consoles and icon surfaces are aware of the power of having a dedicated center section that gives you access to persistent controls for EQ and dynamics. S6 version 2.0 adds similar functionality plus quite a bit more with the attention track function spill and expand zone feature. This functionality will be explored in detail with a separate video. New to S6 version 2.0 are spill zones. There are a left and right zone and they can easily be configured from any set of channel strips on the surface. Not only are spill zones an easy way to spill VCA masters into a dedicated area of the console, but also give you new ways to call up layouts, track types, and even entire workstations. We will go over spill zones in more detail in a separate video. One of the great features of S6 is the rich visual feedback that is achieved with the high resolution display modules. S6 version 2.0 adds to the existing functionality by having the option of displaying automation breakpoint data on the waveform view. This is set up on the settings page from the master module. You have the ability to turn the automation view on or off, reverse the automation lanes to see minimum to maximum values left to right or right to left, and set the opacity of the automation breakpoint data on top of the waveform. Any type of automation data can be displayed. To change the automation parameter to be viewed, do one of the following. From the edit page in Pro Tools, select the automation playlist you want to display. You can do this for a single track, to selected tracks, or for all tracks. An easier way to do this is directly from the console. Press the control and command modifiers on the fader module and touch the fader or encoder of the parameter you want to view. You can add the shift option modifiers for due to selected tracks or just the option modifier for due to all tracks. To get back to just the waveform view, use the same modifiers and the channel select switch. This functionality, as well as waveform view, is only available with Pro Tools at this time. To view the automation breakpoint data, Pro Tools 12.1 or higher is required. Having the backlit, color-coded encoders on the process and knob modules give you the ability to see and adjust a vast amount of parameters at once. But sometimes it is easier to adjust a parameter in a linear fashion. With version 2.0, S6 now allows you to flip a row of parameters globally down to the faders. To do this, press flip on the master module. This will flip the first row of encoders from the process module down to the faders. Pressing flip again will cycle through the other rows of encoders from the knob modules. Press and hold shift on the master module then press flip. This will exit flip mode. Expand mode is not supported with flip at this time. Pressing flip while in expand mode will exit expand. Also, spilling tracks or enabling expand mode will cancel flip. With version 2.0, S6 now has the ability to show hidden tracks. There are preferences on the settings page that will allow you to separately enable hidden tracks in banking mode, in layouts, and in VCA spill. When viewing hidden tracks from the tracks and home screens on the master module, the track names are dimmed in the track matrix, meter scroller, and function scroller. Track numbers, if enabled, are hidden. When hidden tracks are shown, they are distinguishable from shown and muted tracks on the display modules as follows. Example 1 indicates a shown and unmuted track. Example 2 indicates a muted track. Example 3 indicates a hidden track. 
and example 4 indicates both a hidden and muted track. Whenever a track is in expand mode, an orange outline now appears around the track name. If more than one track has expand mode enabled, the outline appears around the name of the most recently expanded track. If the display module is in any function view, the function area is also outlined in orange. When displaying two functions, both function areas are outlined. Indication of expand mode is not active on the expand on attention zones of the surface as they can be populated from any channel strip. Additionally, EQ, Dynamics, and Pan Graphs are now displayed in Expand Mode. EQ Graphs appear on Strip 3, and Dynamics and Pan Graphs appear on Strip 8. In version 2.0, the soft keys for Pro Tools 12 have been revised for a better navigation and improved workflow. All areas of the Master Module and Automation Module soft keys, as well as the Transport, Wheel, and Location switches have been modified. We will go over these changes in a separate video. There are other miscellaneous additions and enhancements. Some of these are as follows. There are new bank and spill zone justification settings. For bank justification, it can be set to left, left of the master module, right of the master module, or right. For spill zone justification, it can be set to the left or right independently for either zone. You can now set the speed and knob sensitivity for pan and other functions separately. This allows you to easily set how fast or slow the values would change, as well as the ability to get more detailed with parameter changes as you turn the encoder slower. Layouts, track types, and workstation changes now come up as default on the master module soft keys. There is a preference to have them displayed on the left, right, or both displays. There is also a preference that will return the display to the last soft key view automatically once the choice has been made. Pressing Shift, then the specific type mode switch will exit out of that mode. With Apple Logic Pro 10.1.1, Steinberg New Windows 7 and Cubase 8, and Merging Technologies Pyramix 9, the assignable knob on the master module is now active. To assign this knob to a parameter, do the following. Click on the parameter on screen in Logic Pro, or in New Windows 7 and 8, just hover over it. Press the assignable knob top to assign and lock the control selected. Press the knob top again to unlock and repeat to reassign. As you've seen, version 2.0 of S6 software takes the functionality of the Surface to a whole other level. With these enhancements, it will be that much easier and faster to achieve the results you need to stay ahead of the curve and deliver on what you can imagine. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.